I'm sorry if I sound like a little stuffy today. I'm getting sick or maybe it's just allergies. I hope it's just allergies. But I kind of wanted to do like a spontaneous writing slash reading vlog for the day. And since I have laundry to put away, I'm just going to talk about my plans for the day as I do that. So lately I've been like pretty busy with online school and stuff. So I'm still in the process of finishing Crooked Kingdom and revising my story. However, I've been working on my story for so long that I feel like I haven't like started any other projects or like focused on like brainstorming and stuff. And I kind of almost feel like my creativity with new stories might have been like stunted a little bit. In an attempt to like focus on my story and get it finished, I kind of just started like pushing other ideas aside. And sometimes I would take notes, but you like usually not. And I feel like because of that, when I like try to brainstorm and write stuff down, I feel like sometimes I struggle a little bit. It was like, I think a week ago for like the start of uh, Camp Dan out, I was trying to like brainstorm and stuff just to get some writing in since I'm in the middle of revising and I just wanted to, I just wanted to get back into writing because while I find revising to be super fun so far, it's not exactly the same as like drafting a new story. So today I think I'm going to try to work on coming up with something for a general plot line slash idea I have. So I don't know if I've talked about this before, it's kind of ironic I'm wearing this shirt, but I'm involved with band at my school, I take, I take private lessons to get better at my instrument and stuff, and I've also been involved with district band and county band at my school. So because of that, like, I've always really wanted to write something revolving around music and band and stuff, because I haven't really seen many, like, fictional stories with it. Now, maybe I just need to go looking, and it'd be kind of cool to look around and read and see if I can find anything with marching band, but... I'm kind of thinking I want to write some stories off of that at some point. I don't know if I'd publish them or how far I'd get with them, but I have like several ideas. I kind of want to write like a fantasy story. That's one I've actually started brainstorming a little bit, but I'm still kind of iffy with it. And I kind of think it could end up being a dystopian, but I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I also kind of have an idea for like a contemporary. I'd kind of like to try to work out with that. I kind of have an idea for a romance that'd be kind of fun to mess around with. So I think my goals for the day are going to be to like brainstorm a bit with that, maybe get like the start of a scene or something. And I'd also like to read through my story a bit more. And I think I would really like to get to finishing Crooked Kingdom today because I've been on that for so long and I'm so close to the end, I just haven't been focusing on it that much. So I want to get it finished. <laughs> Not that I want to experience that pain or that book hangover, because I've heard that's very common. But I just really want to finish it out. Okay, so I kind of forgot that I actually have a Zoom meeting with my bio class at 10, and it's like 9.50 now, so... I can't exactly start writing just because I'll get too into it and then I'll have to stop. But I think what I might do is I might just read as I wait for it to start. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I mean, I already did all the work for the class, so like if there's any questions or like if they're going over the material or anything, I can just probably leave early. I've been working ahead like all week just so I can get a little bit of free time on the weekend and Okay, so I have all the information typed in. Let's see what I can get done in seven minutes. <laughs> Okay, so it's an hour later, it's currently 11. Um, the Zoom call took about 30 minutes. We're going over some essays for my AP Bio test and just doing some practice stuff. It was actually kind of fun. Usually like these Zoom lessons just feel like such a waste of time and I usually just turn them on and do something else and work on like the homework because I feel like it usually takes away from that. But this was actually pretty helpful and it was actually kind of fun. So I was kind of glad it turned out nice. I've, it's the first Zoom call I've had with school that I actually liked. <laughs> Anyway, now I'm going to do some more brainstorming on what I'm going to call project instrument. And like what I was saying before, I kind of wanted like a story that related to band. My one idea is kind of like a dystopian world where I was thinking that there would only be a select amount of like musicians allowed in this society. It was kind of a thing where they would focus more on more important careers like doctors and law enforcement and lawyers and just any type of creative 
any type of creative career is less important in this world. So there was kind of like a fight to see who would be allowed in each year and that everyone would kind of compete to try to get a spot in this band. And I was kind of thinking those who got in before would kind of try to train the younger members. And if you don't make the cut, your instrument gets destroyed and whatever body part you kind of need to be able to play your instrument would be destroyed. So like, let's say that you played piano or something, they would break your hands or something, which is like really dark, but like, I just kind of, I just kind of like the stakes that create. So that's kind of like one of my ideas. And I was kind of thinking in this world, I might have other creative, I might have other point of views that follow other types of art. Like I was thinking maybe like, there'd only be a certain amount of, there'd only be like a certain amount of artists and dancers and stuff. I kind of think that would be really cool to play with. I just have to really come up with some kind of plot line and if it's going to be something where they're going to try to break the system and win or if it's more of a thing of just following their story in this world. Another idea I had was like a contemporary story and I was kind of thinking it'd be kind of like two rivals trying to get into district band or like some other group together and I just kind of think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I just want to look around and like play with that stuff. I'm kind of thinking I might do like both stories individually maybe or just take notes on both or I could kind of mix them too because it would be kind of cool if there's like two rivals um I don't know why I put two fingers up way early when I was thinking but it'd be kind of cool if there's like a rivalry and a romance between these two characters and I think that'd be kind of cool with one of the point with one of the POVs for kind of a Conflict. I'm also trying to figure out how I'm going to do the individual stories because I don't know if I really want to like go back and forth between each. Like I don't know if I could write it in a way that that would be very interesting. I could also do like maybe a series with this world where each focus is on a story in this world. Cause I don't know if it's going to be a thing where necessarily there's anything to fix. Like yeah, it's obviously a problem, but it's something that would have to be just fixed in this world in time. Notes. I'm just gonna brainstorm, play music and stuff and try to figure it out. <laughs>
the little details, like their names and stuff. Well, I guess that's, I guess that's a big detail. You kind of want to know the character's name, but I don't know if I'm gonna start writing today exactly. Or writing. I am back it is currently like almost 8 p.m. and I forgot to update after my bike ride the reason being I accidentally cracked my phone because it fell out of my pocket <laughs> now it's fine it's just the screen protector and it's just like this small little bit but I was like pretty upset over it so like I wasn't feeling up to like updating quite yet so like I went and read a little bit of like Crooked Kingdom and stuff but I kind of forgot again because I started feeling sick and I just got distracted with other stuff. I haven't really done too much, though I did read a bit more of Crooked Kingdom, like I was saying. I'm loving that book, but I'm also really scared after, like, that spoiler I got and stuff. And Sorry, the camera's, like, so shaky. I'm, like, trying to study my arm, but I'm struggling. I wanted to work on that story idea more. I would kind of like to start outlining or, like, at least just diving into it and coming up the first scene but I don't know I also kind of want to finish like Crooked Kingdom today I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if I could finish it tonight I have like 100 pages left which like is possible but I have work tomorrow so I probably shouldn't be up too late I was talking for a bit now I wasn't recording I can't even remember exactly what I said I think I was kind of just talking about random nonsense but I think I'm going to try to get further in Crooked Kingdom and I might also play around with, like, a Pinterest board to come up with, like, characters and, like, maybe I'll get some kind of personality for them or just ideas in general. I don't know if that's something people do much, but, like, I really like creating, like, Pinterest boards for my stories. Like, outfits I think they'd wear or, like, even people I think would look like those characters. It's like, I am an artist, so I could draw characters and kind of come up with my own designs for them. But I just kind of feel like when it comes to writing, I feel like sometimes I'll just, like, look at... A picture and sometimes feel like that would be the character and I can kind of come up with something from that now, like usually like by the end the characters like completely changed and stuff from the picture but like it's still kind of cool to have like kind of like a face claim is that what people call it I guess but no, I also want to finish Crooked Kingdom but I'm scared it's gonna make me cry it's gonna make me cry I don't want to cry don't make me cry. Okay, make me cry. You know, I love these characters. Me, Bardugo, let your characters hurt me. They're going to hurt me. I don't know if I want to be hurt. You know my pain. <laughs> I guess maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll read a few chapters and... I know my family wanted to play the Switch together, so maybe I'll do that sometime in between, but... I guess... I'll go off to letting this book destroy me. so it's getting a bit late and I should really be in bed well I am in bed I should really be asleep soon but I have like very little left in Crooked Kingdom I'm in like chapter 33 I have like one part left and I don't know probably about 70 words 70 words yeah right 70 pages left roughly maybe 60 I don't know but only like five chapters six chapters maybe left and I just want to finish it, but I don't, I want the pain, but like also like, it's getting so good, I just need to get through this final stretch. I don't know if I'll like, finish it before I go to bed, I feel like it's gonna be like a one more chapter type of night, but I don't know, I haven't been feeling well, so I, I should go to bed, especially with having work tomorrow night, I don't know.
I don't even know when I'm going to end this vlog. I might end it tomorrow morning. And I don't know when it's going up. Probably, like, I want to put it up tomorrow, but I'm probably going to be doing it on Sunday just because I kind of want a day off a little bit. Even though today kind of was. It just recording and stuff, not feeling well. If I feel better tomorrow, I kind of want a day just to do whatever. This book is going to hurt. I just, I just know it. Anyway, I'm going to get back to reading. If I don't update tonight, you'll get an update in the morning, whether that's 12 a.m. or <laughs> 7 a.m., 8 a.m. when I wake up. I don't know, maybe I'll sleep in. Who knows? This book is beautiful, but it's going to kill me. Okay, back to reading. Yeah. Do I even want to finish it now? So if you haven't noticed, it is the next day. And I just finished it. I don't really know what to say yet, because like, I feel like I need to process my emotions over it. Um, definitely a good book. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna mark it on Goodreads as five stars, for sure. I don't see why not, I just, I'm hurting a little bit, um, wow, yeah, good, definitely well written, and my, the characters are really well written, and the world building, very well written, I'm just, ah, oh, that, I feel like I need to reread it to like, yeah, I just need to reread it at some point because I feel like there's so much thrown at you. And like, I'm going to need time to process it like now, but like, I feel like I'm going to need to reread it again to get all of like everything, you know, because there's just so much at once. I'm probably going to end the vlog here just because it has been a lot of recording and it's been a little over 24 hours. And I, I'd imagine I have enough footage and I don't want to have an internal vlog going on though this is definitely fun and I would like to do more of these in the future um especially when I get a camera I've been looking at cameras and I have an idea of when I might get I'm not sure I hope this video was interesting to you uh sorry if it's been a bit of a mess I've forgotten to like record here and there and yeah but I hope you like this video and found it entertaining be expecting to hear me talk a little bit about Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom in the future and let me know if you want more vlogs in the future. Stay safe. Bye.